Morning class and welcome to the final part of the palette knife painting. So we put in the darks to start with with the burnt umber, then we laid in the lights with the palette knife and the titanium white, cool blues into the mountains into the distance, brought in the warms to really bring your eye forward, and then we're working between the fine brush and the palette knife to bring details and bring our painting to the finish. Mix up a bit more black. Again, yeah, just for some of these real, these angles more than anything. Just if, from your flurry with the palette knife, you've just gone out anywhere, it can just help to put back those shapes in. I could also go a bit warmer on this roof. Just a touch. So these little changes can seem you know, so little, but they're often what make the difference in your painting, just to help to bring all the different elements together. So even here where I've got this little bit of white, just so I sharpen that edge up and continue it, just helps give the illusion that the mounting continues on.
still think that could be a bit cleaner colour, a bit cooler. So if you notice what I've got here is the, the muted purple with the muted yellow and then on this angle here I've got a stronger purple and a stronger yellow so that causes more of a vibrancy in the picture and focuses your eye more on there but still balances with the rest of the landscape. Okay, I could keep on tinkering with this, but I think as a study, just to get you used to painting thicker with the acrylics using the palette knife is a great way just to free up a bit and not worry too much about getting all the details in. The details can come just with that fine brush right at the end and you don't need very many details to make a lovely painting. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.